we're keeping our eye on the potential of getting close to some record highs. Now, I don't think we're going to hit 86 in Kinston today. That one was probably safe in the books. 71, though, Moorhead City. That could go by the wayside. 81 showing up in New Bern, going back to 1945. Again, we're going to be close, just depending on how much sunshine we see peeking through here going into the afternoon hours. We're already 76 in New Bern, 75 in Jacksonville with decent amount of sunshine peeking through there along the coastal areas right now, and even Beaufort coming in at 70 degrees as we speak. All not only just the sun, but it's those gusty southwesterly winds helping to boost those temperatures. In fact, we've seen some gusts in excess of a uh, 20 to 25, almost 30 miles per hour, and those winds will continue to be rather gusty as we head not only even through the day today, but look early tomorrow right ahead of that front. That's when some of those stronger winds will be in the area here. 15 to 20, some gusts to 30 miles an hour as those showers start to press in from northwest to southeast. Watch how those wind hours change, though. That's going to be that front coming through, and then those winds go northerly. You know what's up north? That's the colder air. We're going to be seeing that pouring in here as we go on through the first part of the weekend. So there are some breaks of the overcast out there, but not expecting uh, and much in the way of rainfall other than possibly a sprinkle. Future track does show those clouds really thicken it up as we head overnight tonight. Uh, rain around in the afternoon hours tomorrow from northwest to southeast. By the evening, it clears off of the coast. Then we start to dry the atmosphere out and we see those temperatures really start to plummet with those clear skies and light winds as we head through the day on Saturday. Lots of sunshine around out there, but it's not really going to help warm those temperatures up all that much. It is all with this front that is off to our north and west. We've been watching severe weather through the early mornings out here in Arkansas and towards uh, western Tennessee. But for us closer to home, we are seeing a little bit more sunshine east of Highway 17, a little bit thicker cloud cover off towards the west. Again, could there be a spotty sprinkle? It's possible, but not really anticipating it. Temperatures, though, look at it in the 60s, mid to upper 60s overnight tonight. Warmest part of the day will be in the early morning hours tomorrow where we might see temperatures near that 70 degree mark. Then that colder air slides in behind it and we're going to see those temperatures start off near that freezing mark on Saturday and Sunday mornings and barely near that 50 degree mark as we head through the day on Saturday.